how cold is too cold for butane extraction? A lot of people assume that the colder you go, the cleaner your extract, and, and that's partly true, but there's a limit, right? Once you go below about negative 70 Celsius, the solvent gets so thick that it doesn't fully soak through your biomass anymore. You end up using way more solvent and sometimes pulling less out. And from what we've tested, negative 50 to negative 60 Celsius is really the sweet spot. Um, it's cold enough to leave behind most of the waxes and pigments, but still thin enough that your solvent flows smoothly. The key is how you run the column. You wanna flood it gently from the bottom up and make sure it's fully saturated before you start draining. And this keeps the flow even and prevents what we call mechanical entrainment. And basically that means when waxes or fines get physically swept out because the solvent is blasting in too fast. Kind of think of it as putting up your garden hose to a sponge and putting it to full blast and all the dirt flies out of the sponge. That's basically called mechanical entrainment. If you normally run around negative 30 Celsius, uh, using three or four pounds of butane per pound of biomass. Expect to bump that up about four or five pounds at negative 50. That extra solvent keeps everything evenly covered as the viscosity goes up. For chilling, our XST series is perfect for that negative 50 range. Uh, we got options like the 4K and the 6K units with plenty of cooling power to keep your solvent and columns locked in that range. And the XUT series dives all the way down to negative 80 for specialty isolation and turf work. Um, so yeah, if you keep your process around negative 50 Celsius, keep the column flooded, uh, let the chiller handle the workload, you'll get a cleaner yield, uh, more consistent results, and that's your Tech Tip Tuesday. Stay cold, stay consistent, and I'll see you next time.